How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Cleveland Indians. Again, we're doing that five-year rebuild style, so we might as well you know not take too long with the intro and get right into it so if you guys want to see some more rebuilds hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always in the comment section let me know what you guys thought about this rebuild and which team we should do next so the cleveland indians have my second favorite player in the majors francisco lindor is just so fun to watch at shortstop him and javi baez are my two favorite players and like so i kind of have i don't want to say like the indians our team, I watch a lot. I just like watching Francisco Lindor. He's, a, he's just a fun player to watch. You can see he really enjoys uh, playing the game. But let's talk about this Cleveland Indians team. I think their pitching is solid, very solid. Bieber, Salazar, Clevenger, Carrasco, Bauer, uh, Corey Kluber, Trevor Bauer in real life. What he's been doing on like social media, YouTube has been awesome. I love what he's doing for like the game of baseball, getting it more incorporated with like stuff outside. He's doing podcasts and stuff. I love it. I just, I love it. Um. Corey Kluber just went down in real life with a, a forearm fracture, I think it was, or an elbow fracture, which is, well, like, it, that sucks. That sucks to see. Um, and then when you see some of the prospects they have, Tristan McKenzie, he's a potential player we could get involved. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see if he develops. Looking at the relief pitching, some aging players, but some players that I definitely could see sticking around. Uh, around. Simber is one of them, possibly Whitgren, but um, outside of that, not too sure brad hand if he does well we'll keep him um because closers are always really nice to have once you have a good closer you're you're usually set in the bullpen ploiecki i don't see why not like just keep him around um roberto perez is okay for a backup for now carlos santana's a player i'm probably gonna look to trade um hanley ramirez doesn't play for the indians from what i recall i'm pretty sure they uh released him jason kipnis has got a pretty big contract for a season and this will probably be the last season that I keep him around. I want to get a little bit younger at second base. Third base, Jose Ramirez is an absolute animal in real life. He looks, he hits the ball hard. You know, his stats for the last few seasons have really shown it. 29, 39 homers, 100 RBIs last season. He's going to be our third baseman for the foreseeable future. Shortstop, like I said, Lindor is one of my favorite players. We're keeping him at shortstop. Plus, he's a 92 overall with a potential. He's only going to get better. Jake Bowers in left field. I'm going to see how he does for a season or two. You know, a potential 70 overall. His stats don't look that great, but who knows? He could turn into an absolute god in left field. Um, center field, I'm probably going to use Naquin or Zimmer. Leonis Martin is not a player I'm looking to keep around for the future. We also have Greg Allen, who could be a decent center fielder as well. So we kind of got like a three-way uh, competition to see who's going to get center field. Right field, it's probably going to be Jordan Luplo. Uh Carlos Gonzalez, not a bad player, but... I'd rather you. I'd rather a, a younger player stick uh, have the time in right field compared to someone who's a little bit older. I know Cameron Maybin got traded to the Yankees, so that's actually a trade we're going to do. Um, but for the most part, I really like this uh, Indians team. There's not a lot that needs to be changed for a sim style franchise, um, and that's why it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a piece of cake. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a low rated player here, 22 year old. 24 year old i will just take we'll just take josh stowers stowers we'll just say that's a trade because i know in real life i'm pretty sure the indians got cash for cameron maven and then there's one more trade i want to do so once i figure that out i'll show you guys what we're going to do with it Alrighty, so probably the only other trade besides that maven trade that we're going to make in season one is carlos santana ethan hankins and then nolan jones a third baseman with a potential who i definitely could see being a part of the team in the future but i said we want i wanted to get a little bit younger at first base get someone that doesn't have such a big contract um for two seasons um we're gonna get juan nicasio for a season i'm probably not gonna bring him back he's more of just a one-year player and he we don't have a way to make the trade work unless we put him in the trade for budgetary reasons the other player i'm super excited about getting this guy into the team first baseman reese hoskins his stats look amazing. He's got one year free agency after this and then arbitration. So I'm hoping we can lock him up to a long-term de deal. He turns into an absolute animal at first base. I'm really excited to get a first base spot locked up and then we don't have to worry about it. And to be honest, I'm this is like the only trade we need to make. 
let's get the lineup and rotation set and i'll talk to you guys get to start season one Alrighty, lineup wise, this is how we're looking to start the season. Naquin, Lindor, Ramirez, Hoskins, Leonis, Martin, Kipnis, Leplo, Bowers, and Ploiecki. A bench of Carlos Gonzalez, Roberto Perez, Brad Miller, and Greg Allen. Starting rotation and like the bullpen looks solid. Salazar is going to be that long reliever who he's kind of been a, a flex between the, the bullpen and the starting rotation um, in real life. We also have Kluber, Bauer, Carrasco, Clevenger, and Bieber. I know Bauer's usually good till he's about 32, and then for some reason his rating kind of dips or he holds it. Like there's no going too much higher. He usually caps out around 93, 94, and then he usually holds his rating, and then all of a sudden it just drops. So I'm hoping he goes up a little bit and holds it. So that's that's the hope. Carrasco's usually really good. Clevenger's usually amazing. So I'm kind of hoping to see how that goes. Bullpen have some questions. But for the first season, I kind of want to see how that one trade that we did with Hoskins pans out. And then we'll make moves according to that. Alrighty, so our first year draft went pretty rough. Um, a lot of mid-70s players, which I, I'm not going to lie. This was a tough draft to kind of pick good players. And I'm not going to I I passed up on some really good players this draft. Um, so that this, this draft is my fault. It's not... I scouted poorly. It's not I. Um, the the draft picks were bad. I I just missed some really good players and I went with um, these guys instead. So we got a 71 overall uh, catcher who I mean could be our backup catcher next season, um, which isn't bad. We also have a 78 potential catcher with a 67 overall. So again, I kind of went two catchers to start with. Probably not the best idea, but one of these two could most likely will pan out to be a decent backup. Um, Mario Rosado has got mid 70s potential, so I mean, not the best either. This is our best one, Bernardo Campos. He's 66 overall, got really good speed, decent fielding already, um, good power versus lefties as well. So hopefully he can become useful in a couple seasons, and then the rest are kind of disappointing. 77 overall or 77 potential isn't bad for a starting pitcher, but um, with the pitching staff we have, I doubt he'll ever feature. And then Cesar Uribe. Um, okay stats but 70 potential and he's a 70 overall so like i said that drafts on me that was just a bad draft by me i thought i went with the right picks and sometimes you just miss them so there's a the draft for the first season i'll probably see you guys at the end of the first season see how things go season one finishes and we won the division with 101 wins and 61 losses we're taking on the yankees so the first series is going to be pretty difficult let's take a look at our league leaders reese hoskins had the most walks and carlos carrasco and Clory. Corey Kluber, oh my gosh, Corey Kluber pitched very well this season. So no awards, unfortunately, um, which is which is disappointing to see. But you guys can see we we won by ten games in the division. It was pretty easy. Let's take a look at our team, see how things went. Nate wins up to a seventy-seven. His stats look decent. Um, he hit two seventy-two, had eighteen home runs, sixty-one R RBIs, the best of his career to date. One hundred and fifty-six RBIs. So or not one hundred six, one hundred and fifty-six RBIs. 156 hits um so it's looking like for now as a center fielder we we're, we're good you know i don't really see a need to get a new center fielder shortstop don't really need a new shortstop 261 is a little on the low side for an average but 21 home runs 62 rbis again kind of low but i don't really see lindor staying um at these kind of low numbers jose ramirez is doing jose ramirez things 100 107 rbis 36 home runs perfect 181 hits almost a 300 average that's what i want to see from him reese hoskins hit 252 i kind of wish that was a little bit better but he he did hit 30 home runs he did produce 85 rbis you know that's that's not bad um i just want that average a little bit higher leonis martin probably not coming back so i'm not too worried about it kipnis he actually had a really solid season 25 home runs 85 rbis a 300 average that's not bad um i just i don't want to pay 14 and a half million to bring him back he'll probably ask for like eight or something but i feel like we could find another second baseman who's just as good um and we won't have to pay that kind of money um jordan luplo potential's going down unfortunately and that's mostly because he hit 218 it's the best of his career um obviously he's, he's had limited appearances at pittsburgh um i'll give him probably another season before we start freaking out and needing a new right fielder jake bowers hit 284 his potential and overall is going up 13 home runs 60 rbis 
not bad you know this is this is a good season obviously um like a, another like full season for him and he's only 23 so he's only gonna get better so i expect big things from him and then kevin ploiecki um not too bad you know six home runs 51 rbis not the best like hitting stats either that's that's good i'm I like i'm liking what i'm seeing um bench was okay let's take a look at the pitching really fast really fast kluber looks good 252 era awesome um bauer 321 era 207 innings pitched solid um carrasco 218 era solid the whip was under one Corey kluber's whip was one clevenger 381 era at the all or at the trade de trade deadline day he had a five era so he really turned it around second half of the season and even shane bieber's up to an 83 his stats are looking nice salazar um as long as he holds these ratings and does well in the long relief role i'm perfectly happy for him hoyt i brought him up instead of who was up who was up um i brought him up instead of um otero because otero was he was struggling he had like a six era or five era or something like that um so hoyt looks good 2.22 era simber 2.4 era solid um olsen i mean still over 45 innings not terrible definitely not terrible nicasio for a one-year deal 3-2 era respectable i can i can handle that oliver perez probably not coming back um era jumped up quite a bit from uh deadline day i think his era at the deadline was like 2.5 so he's gone up quite a bit, and Brad Hand did very well as our closer. So we're definitely looking good at the closer spot. Even our bullpen looks pretty solid as well. So let's get into this game against the Yankees. Actually, let's take a look at some of these prospects. Tristan McKenzie's up to a 68, so I definitely could see him featuring probably Season 3, Season 4. Um, Whit Gren is a player I'm going to keep my eye on. He didn't really get too much time this year. Um, um, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Not really. So Bradley Zimmer. Okay, he's a 74, so he might be he might be a player that we put in the majors next year and let Greg Allen go down. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Let's get into the series against the Yankees. Game one, we lost. Game two, we lost. And we're facing elimination already, which is not good. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into it. We're going to have Carrasco take the mound. He had a phenomenal year. Um, great start. Great start. A solo shot to start the game. We're taking on Masahiro Tanaka. And then we'll take a look at the Yankees lineup after this. So corners, come on, Bowers. So they have LeMahieu. Um, it looks like a standard lineup for them. No changes. All right, come on. All right, there's a single first and second. Come on, Ramirez. Perfect. Three-run bomb. That's what we needed. And we got a two-run lead now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Keep it going. Keep flying through it. No runs, please. Okay, there's one. We let Luke Voigt steal. And they're going to take the lead. Oh, no. That was Naquin. I forgot. I didn't see that we got the third out. Naquin hits a solo bond. Gives us another two-run lead. Come on, Carrasco. Keep dealing. You're doing well so far. Can we get another run in? We can't. So the two-run lead's still intact, though. So I'm not going to complain about that. First and second. Ramirez, can you do it again? Dang. Can't. Bases loaded. Sack fly, perfect. Fly out. All right, I'll take it. Carrasco probably could go another inning. You know, he's doing really well. That's that's it. All right, let's bring in hand. Shut the door. Shuts the door. Perfect. All right, let's advance to the next day. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep this momentum going into this game. Let's keep this, you know, let's get this. Let's get a winning streak going. Let's just not lose for the rest of the playoffs. Win a World Series. Um, we got Clevenger on the mound. Not a good start. I feel like Clevenger in the playoffs has always been like my Achilles heel. He always lets me down for some reason. So I'm hoping he doesn't let me down this time. Kipnis gets us back within one. So that's good. Perfect. One, two, three inning. First and second. No outs. Come on. Perfect. Tie ball game. That's all we got to do. We got to take the sack fly. Get our runs. Zach Davies is a new pitcher for the Yankees. So that's that's someone new from the Yankees. All right, so five innings for Clevenger. I didn't see his energy, so I got to check that when he comes onto the mound next inning. Two run score, Jose Ramirez. There we go, the double. All right, Clevenger is just above half, so he should be good to go for another couple innings. All right, first and second, no outs. A run score is perfect. Can we get one more in? We can't, but we do have a three-run lead. And a one-two-three inning for Clevenger, even better. So the pitching's... 
I was going to say the pitching's doing well. And it is a tie ball game. Clevenger is done now. His stamina is completely drained. So that sucks. Um, okay, a walk. Another walk. Jake Bowers, please. Yes, brings in the run. Bases loaded. Sack fly. Can you do it? You struck out. Awesome. All right. Top nine. We're going back to Brad Hand. And Brad Hand shuts the door. We're back in it. All right. It all comes down to this. I mean... A reverse sweep that's pretty sweet I'm not gonna lie if we can do it Corey Kluber's taking the mound we hit into a double play oh man that sucked and a two-run bomb really come on don't let no all right we got out of that jam so that's good one two three in it let's get the bats going let's get them going come on three runs now and it's like, we're just not getting our bats going. You know, three runs, not terrible. If they start scoring more, then we're in trouble. Yeah, we're in trouble now. Five run game. Severino's pitching lights out. I mean, we got to score. Come on. One run scores. Okay, so it's a four run game now. Kluber, can he give us one more? He does. Perfect. So he's done after this. Ah, man. Um, we're going to go to Casio. First pitch. Oh my gosh. First battery gives up another bomb. And that's the season, unless we come up with some crazy comeback right here. We might. Oh man, are we really going to do this? Uh, lefty lefty matchup. Do we have someone who just crushes it versus lefties? It doesn't, doesn't really look like it. So I guess we're just going to. We're going to let Bowers do it. Oh man, two run game now. And that's that's the game. All right. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let's go take a look and see really quick how things went. Ah, these two really let me down. Come on. E Hoskins. Oh man. I'm hoping I'm hoping this is a dud year. And he comes back and does well. Plowecki didn't do too well either. So kind of a rough outing for the lineup. The Yankees ended up winning the World Series. Oh, and the Phillies. I bet Reese Hoskins is kind of pissed right now. But uh, let's get into season two. Let's see how things go. All right. Only exclusive negotiation I'm like considering is uh, Brad Miller. I gave him a one-year deal. Um, I look at Jason Kipnis. Four mil a year. He did really well. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to rescind this offer. I'm going to take that away. And I'm, I'm going to do, do a one-year deal for... I was expecting him to want like $8 million or something. One year deal for Jason Kipnis, I'm, I'm cool with that. Already for arbitration, you guys can see here, these uh, six got it. And then Plowecki got it as well, but the rest did not. Contracts wise, um, everybody's going to get one from up here. Yeah, everyone, everyone's going to get one from up there. Um, I'll take a look at free agency really quick. Um third base we're good pitching we're good you know as long as everyone comes back um, bullpen I thought we were very solid I might look to bring in an arm since we did lose Nicasio um, looking at these arms though they're kind of aging Ooh, 19 year old 64 overall with B potential yes definitely sign give him an offer catcher I'm not really sold on Plowecki did pretty poor um, but besides Yasmani Grandal, I don't really see anybody that I like the looks of. So we're going to pass on that. First base, we have Hoskins. Second base, we do have Kipnis. But I wouldn't mind bringing in somebody. Um, Scooter Jeanette is interesting. How much would Scooter Jeanette want? Because I think that would be... You know what? We'll take him. Because he's going to be a minor league deal. And he's a rookie that didn't get signed. I remember that name. Um... Three years, thirty million. I'm, I'm, I could probably match that. I'd be cool with that. I bet he'd be good for us. We could also do Rendon, but we just did a Nationals rebuild, so I want to stay away from Rendon. Um, anybody down here that's kind of young with decent potential, shortstop. Um, for a 19 year old, 63, you know, 63 overall C potential. Might as well just give it a chance. Um, Kevin Samuel. Be potential. Might as well see what happens. Um, outfielders were good. 
you know, I was really happy with Bowers. I thought he did really well. Looking at this um, center field, we have Naquin. Right field, it was Luplo. I'm not going to freak out just yet. Plus, these options aren't that interesting to me. So, really, free agency is probably going to be pretty quiet. You know, I like our starting rotation. Our bullpen looked pretty solid. Um, and I don't really see anybody here. We might make a trade when the season starts. I think that's going to be our best option. So, there's that. Showed you the contracts. I'll see you guys um, at the start of season two and let you know if we signed anybody outside of those contracts that I offered you or that I showed you that I offered. Alrighty, season two is going to look like this. Um, Kluber, Bauer, Carrasco, Clevenger, Bieber. So nothing's changed. After the season, though, we're in a bit of a pickle. His contract runs out. His contract runs out. Salazar's contract runs out. Um, we brought Sam Tuivalala from the Rule 5 draft. He was one of the better relievers available. And since we lost the reliever, I figured let's, let's bring one in. Um, we brought back Hoyt. So, yeah, you guys can see this is the bullpen now. The lineup. The lineup. The lineup looks like this. We're going to see how Lindor does in the leadoff spot. Um, we did bring in Jeanette like we, we talked about. His overall has gone down, which sucks. Um, I'm hoping that's not going to stay the same. Um, I hope it goes up. <laughs> but uh, that's this is how we're looking. Um, we may need another bench bat for right now, but... We, we, we look decent. We look decent. We'll look at we'll look at our prospects and stuff. Plutko, uh, Wei Hugh. We got uh, Mackenzie, Jeffrey Rodriguez. So we got a couple names there. Um, relief pitching looks really bad. We're not even gonna worry about that. Um, catchers, we got a, a a ridiculous amount. I don't understand why we have so many. Um, Bobby Bradley's looking like a potential first baseman for the future. Um, kind of like a backup for us. Second base, we're kind of low on prospects as well. We got Yu Chang for third. Shortstop, we got uh, Rainel Delgado, who doesn't look too bad. Um, outfield, not too much going for us right now. Uh, Valera, possibly in the future. Um, Campos, the guy we drafted, he could be good for the future as well. Um, but he does have a lot of competition in center. And then right field. We could always move like Campos to right field or one of these guys to right field. If uh, Luplo doesn't really do well this year, but I'm gonna leave it like this for now and I'll see you guys at the draft Season two draft went a lot better. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out mark Kobayashi the best player in the draft Hands down and we got him with like the 23rd pick um, B potential 75 overall 88 Or so 88 potential 75 overall look at his stats already really solid. He's 21 years old. He we, we won't need a backup second baseman for the rest of the um, franchise, even a starting second baseman if Scooter Jeanette doesn't pan out. We got Chad Gifford, 89 potential, 66 overall. So good starting pitching prospect. The catching, I, I, I still need to find a good catcher. I've yet to find a good catcher in a draft. Eric Montez, 73 overall with 78 potential. I mean, it's not horrible. Um, I haven't given these guys contracts. Probably should do that, huh? But uh, there's that. Uh, Kyle Sutherland, 77 potential, 58 overall. Probably one of the worst pro uh, the worst ones. Um, this is the worst one. Floyd Madrigal. We're not even going to sign him. I'm just going to let him go. 83 potential for Herschel Porter. He's 60 overall. Not the worst. Um, but still, you know, 83 potential solid. And then Diego Novoa, very end of the draft. He is 48 overall, which is a huge disappointment. He's only got three pitches as well. But he's 88 potential i love it i love it so three no 480 plus potential players a 78 potential player even a 77 potential player this was a lot better draft than last year i'm loving it i really like um this pick right here this kobayashi second baseman Ooh, decent speed okay fielding hitting stats though that's what i really like they're already kind of high he's gonna be a, he's gonna be a good second baseman for us so let's see how this uh second season pans out I'll catch you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so for once, I took advantage of the contract extension uh, option here in the game. And it was actually kind of helpful because Corey Kluber, I decided to add two seasons to his contract. I felt like, you know what, let's take a chance. Let's lock him up. Same with Trevor Bauer. Um, his contract was running out. I gave him a pretty big contract for the future. It says his overall is going down. But um, I think it's just because he's having a bad year. I think he's definitely going to have a bounce back here and we'll be okay. Um, I decided to give uh, Kluber a two-year deal because 
Clevenger's uh, arbitration runs out in two years. So that way we can sign Clevenger and we can let Kluber go once his contract runs out. Um, another player that I decided to offer was Salazar. I think I gave him a, a two-year deal. I did. I gave him a two-year deal. Uh, Brad Hand, I think I did a two-year deal as well. There's that. And then one more um, bit of business was locking up this guy for the for the future. You know, 28 million is a big contract, but he's worth it. He's 98 overall. So that's basically the business that I'm making for the second second season. We're not making any trades. The season's going pretty well. So um, I'm just going to see you guys at the end of the year. All right. Season two finishes with 106 and 56 record. We're taking on the Astros in the divisional series. So let's take a let's take a look. Things pretty went pretty well. Jose Ramirez and Lindor had a phenomenal offensive season. Kluber had the most wins. And I'm assuming we're going to have some pretty good awards. Just a gold glove? Really? Just a gold glove. All right. Well, let's take a look at the lineup. Lindor hit almost 300, a 291 average, almost 200 hits as well, 38 home runs, and 105 RBIs. 105 RBIs as our leadoff hitter. Nake wins up to an 83. So, like I said, center fielder, we got this locked up. He hit 330, 180 hits, 23 home runs. He had his best year by far. Um, his potential's gone up. His overall's gone up. His contact numbers look great. His fielding looks pretty solid as well. Awesome. Jose Ramirez, unreal. He's he's still doing good stuff. Six hits away from 200. Home runs, RBIs, high average, perfect, awesome. So third base, short, and center field, solid. Um, Reese Hoskins, he's up to an 87. He hit 268, so he's he's creeping up. He's creeping up. Home run numbers, RBI numbers, pretty similar, perfect, love it. Scooter Jeanette, he isn't going down, which is awesome because we signed him. <laughs> we still have him for two more years. So he better stay up uh, at a high overall. But again, solid numbers. Great home runs, great RBIs, solid average. Kipnis, for a one-year deal, not too bad. I mean, we have that Kobayashi guy coming up. So um, if Kobayashi doesn't do well at second, we can move him to third um, and then move Ramirez to uh, second base. Jake Bowers, average went down a little bit, but the home run numbers went up, RBI numbers went up, hits. I'm um, about the same. So it's looking like, you know, he's still going to get better and better. So that's all I want from my outfielder. Bradley Zimmer took over in right. Not too much better than Luplo, though. So I, I'm not really. It's not like it's amazing. So and then Plowecki. Plowecki. OK, he's he's going up in rating. Offensive numbers went up. Home runs and RBI. So that's good. And then the bench. The bench is OK. You know, it's not it's nothing too crazy. Let's look at the pitching. Kluber with 2.63 ERA. Solid whip. A 1.03 whip. Um, 21 and 7 on the year. Good numbers. I'm glad we locked him up for another two years. Uh, Corey Kluber's overall isn't going down anymore. Yeah, I just assumed it was because his ERA was kind of high. It was like a 3.71 or something. Um, but overall, I'm not going to complain about those numbers. That's pretty solid. Amazing. 2.69 ERA, 17 and 6 on the year. I love this pitching staff. This pitching staff is one of the best in baseball for a sim style franchise. Clevenger. Um, 333 ERA, so he's only getting better. The wins and losses, I'm not too worried about. His numbers here are looking great. And Bieber's up to an 89. 333 ERA, 17 and 7, very comparable to um, Clevenger. So this starting five is deadly. Salazar's up to an 80, which is great to see. Um, Olsen, I think he, yeah, he, he's probably done. Tui Valala, 341. I mean, not terrible. His per nines are going up, so I think for the long term, We'll keep them around. Um, Simber, 82. ERA is a little high. Definitely a little high. Hoyt, I gave him a one-year deal, but he might be a player I keep keep bringing back. You know, he's he's looking good. Uh, Whit Gren took over the setup role. Solid. 264 ERA. And Brad Hand's looking good um, for at least another season or two with the stats that he's been putting up. So, team's looking good. Um, let's take a look at any of our prospects, see how they're going. Tristan McKen McKenzie. He's looking like he's going to be good. Um, not really anything there. Will Bowling was that free agent that we signed. Um, I mean, he's a 67 overall. That's not bad. Catching wise, eh. First baseman, Bobby Bradley's almost a 70. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Delgado went up by three this year. Um, center field, Campos is almost a 70. Valera, 67. Uh, Uribe went up once and he was a draft pick as well. So first season draft picks, really the only one to look out for is this Campos guy. 
second season though is when we really got some names to look out for so let's see how this um series against the astros turns out all right elimination game awesome love it gotta love it man <laughs> the indians are always like super good teams um in my in my rebuilds so if i come up with the, <laughs> with the indians and i can't do anything with them i'm gonna be really pissed First off, the Astros have Joey Gallo. Are you kidding me? They have Joey Gallo in their team? That's nuts. If, as if they weren't already a good team. Corey Kluber, what is with you and the playoffs right now? You're killing me. Um, but as if the Astros weren't scary enough, they added Joey Gallo? Are you serious? All right, so it's still two runs. We get a hit. But it's like, we only have two hits. So it's like... The offense is not doing great. It's only a two-run game. All right. Come on. Let's do something here. We got to walk. All right. A strikeout and a strikeout. It's like, come on. Kluber's not doing too bad now. He just started off a little quiet. As I say, that bases are loaded now in the sixth with one out. So what we're going to do, we got Josh Reddick up. We're going to bring in a lefty. He's going to get a sack fly. Okay. And then we're going to bring in a righty. And uh, he's going to get us out of it. So it is a four-run game. Please, anybody, do something. Okay, we got one run in. So it's a three-run game now. What's going on with the team? Why Why are we falling apart here? What? Why can't we hit the ball? That's a big thing. We're not hitting the ball. We only have five hits. Lindor's 0 for 3. Ramirez is 0 for 3. What is this? What? What? Okay, Hoskins gives us one. really 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 Lindor's been really bad in the playoffs the Phillies so we trade Reese Hoskins for Reese Hoskins and the Phillies have made the World Series both years this year they win it what did Lindor do he just sucked in that game we just had Naquin went quiet Jose Ramirez went quiet this year oh man already contracts they were all prospect contracts like all minor leaguers so we just we signed them up um arbitration you guys can see these these guys got it besides that guy i don't know um olsen didn't get it as well but these four did um and then looking at free agency when we look at the lineup i mean really the big what's what position is this dh um right field's kind of a question mark because zimmer and luplo really haven't performed well in uh right field everybody else i'm really happy with um the pitching rotation i'm happy with really happy with them uh, we are losing a bullpen arm so that's really about the only the only area where i'm looking like hey we we could really use um one of those so like starters not interested in um bullpen arms they don't look that great again all right you start season three we are trading away um chi wei hugh one of our catching draft picks. I think this was la uh, first season draft pick. Benito Moreno. He's going down in overall. Um, we also have Montez and Arturo. We also have a crazy amount of catchers in the farm system. And then a player who's been pretty disappointing so far. Greg Allen. Hasn't hit the ball well. Um, and we have Mercado. We have Campos. We have Zimmer. We, we, we have plenty of outfield prospects. We're going to the Red Sox. For a player I remember from the first uh, season draft, and his name is Lewis Hutchins. His stats look pretty good. His hits per nine are pretty low, but um, for a, a pitching prospect, definitely could feature maybe season four, season five, um, and especially if we end up losing um, Kluber or another, maybe even Carrasco if he starts to fall off a little bit. This it, it helps us out because we could have a, a pitcher to look forward to in the future. A player that we did sign for this season as well was Andrew Miller. I decided to bring him in for one year. Um, he was at Cleveland for two seasons in 2017, 2018. So we, we decided to bring him in. I'm going to send Hutchins down because he is not he's not MLB ready just yet. But you guys can see we, we definitely have a solid, a solid lineup, a solid pitching rotation. Um, I do want to bring up a batter though. So let me do that and then we'll, we'll get the lineup started for this season. Already a trade this year. Jordan Luplo, another one of those outfielders who hasn't just just not doing good enough. Um, as well as Yu Chang, a third baseman. 
and a first baseman, Mike Pappy. For Jesse Winker, a player I've, I don't think I've ever traded for, we're going to put him in left. He's 82 overall, um, but he's had some pretty good seasons the last couple seasons. Um, he still has arbitration as well, so I think that's why um, I'm liking this trade, um, especially since we can kind of keep that contract a little low. Um, I'm thinking about moving Bowers out to right because he's got a little bit better fielding. Um, so let's let's do that. Let's move Bowers out to right. See how that goes for us. Um, and then or we could just do that. Even leave Winker as our DH um, when we don't need him to be uh, in the field. So there's that. So this is the lineup I brought up. I brought up Bobby Bradley. Um, Kobayashi is going to be starting uh, as our bench bat as well. Team's looking solid. Um, could probably use a couple improvements here and there. Plawecki's probably. Ah, we'll see. You know, he definitely hasn't been hitting the ball horribly. Um, it's just the power numbers. I wish we were a little bit better. But for a catcher, I can't really complain. Um, pitching rotation is looking pretty solid. Um, I think as long as they do well, we should be good. That's basically what it comes down to. I think in the playoffs, the pitching went a little cold. Um, we'll quickly take a look at some of our pitching prospects. Hutchins is the new guy. We got McKenzie as well. Jeffrey Rodriguez is down there. Um, Gifford, Oviedo. Uh, Savali, we got Herschel Porta, Novoa, um, I don't think we had any good bullpen arms, we do have Bowling and Gomez, catchers, eh, um, Bobby Bradley's there, Kobayashi's there, um, let's look for some of the guys we drafted, none there, none there, we have Campos, Valera wasn't a draft pick, and then, um, who are we missing, we're missing somebody, I mean, I, I know we had some good starting pitching draft picks last from last season. Um, Novoa was one. Kobayashi was the big name to look out for for them. Um, who? I can't. I'm already forgetting who we drafted. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, yikes. That's not good. I'm gonna have to look back at my recording and figure out who we drafted. But you guys, you guys, you guys will remember, obviously. So you guys see all the players there. Um, the big, the big one, obviously, was Kobayashi. He's, he looks really good. I can't wait to actually get him into the team. Um, but the the team's looking good. I'm feeling confident for season three. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make any tr any trades at the deadline. If we need to, then we will. Um, but for right now, let me get into some scouting. I'll see you guys at the last draft for this rebuild. Alrighty, so our last draft of the rebuild is pretty bad. And I looked at the rest of the draft, and it was also bad there were a total of seven players that had 90 potential or more and i think for like 86 and above potential it was like maybe 20 total players maybe that's being generous so this draft it's not the best it really isn't i mean 76 potential with 72 overall but when you look at what was out there and oh and the players that were like 90 plus potential no player was over 65 overall there was a 65 overall with like a 93 potential but that was it everybody else was like 60 and below so i mean even if we would have gotten a high potential player we wouldn't have been able to use them because they were so low rated so looking at our picks were they great no they really weren't um our highest potential player here is 55 overall so this is this is kind of what we were working with 61 overalls and stuff so i mean i don't really like any of these players to be honest i'll sign them up to sign them up but really none of them are that good so unfortunately our last draft is kind of poor we're really relying on the second draft so hopefully you know the rest of the season goes well and we don't we can just forget about this draft Alrighty, season three went amazing 124 wins 38 losses and we're taking on the winner of the wild card game like this month four total losses unreal so i'm expecting a lot of good stuff so naquin had the most hits in the majors this year and then trevor bauer and Cla Corey kluber pitched very very well i saw jesse winker was up there as well for averages so that's good to see that a player we trade for um went well scooter Jeanette won a gold glove and then Corey Kluber won the Cy Young. So let's see what 
our team did. Francisco Lindor is continuing to do well. 41 home runs, 135 RBIs. 135 RBIs as our leadoff hitter. 204 hits, 307 average. Amazing. Love it. Tyler Naquin, solid center fielder. 23 homers, 99 RBIs, 314 average. A 314 average. Unreal. Jose Ramirez, um, a 300 average, 34 homers, 132 RBIs. Awesome. We have it for another season, which is great. Um, I might have to extend the contract before it runs out. Reese Hoskins, this is what I want to see from that first baseman that we traded for. 181 hits, 40 home runs, 128 RBIs, 30, or not 30, 300 average. So we had 128 RBIs here, 132 here, almost 100 here, and 135. So between our first four hitters, almost every single one of them had 100 plus. This is unreal. It's stupid numbers. Scooter Jeanette almost had 100 RBIs. He had 32 home runs and a 310 average. Jesse Winker, 23 home runs, 89 RBIs, and 337, 337 average. Jake Bowers, a 218 average. Yikes. Okay, that's a little bit of a, a downer, but Bradley Zimmer hit 250, 22 home runs, 85 RBIs. Okay, it's a little bit better for the right field position, but eh. Kevin Ploiecki is up to an 86, a 267 average, so that's kind of looking like what he's going to settle at, like close to 270. Um, mid, mid-teens for home runs, around 70 RBIs. Okay, you know what? I'm okay with that at the catching spot. Kobayashi didn't really hit the ball well. Um, yikes, but... Uh, Oh, well, I'm not going to fret over it. Roberto Perez, an okay backup. And then Bobby Bradley did pretty well in his limited plate appearances in the uh, the bigs this year. Pitching rotation, obviously Kluber won the um, Cy Young, so he did very well. Like, just, I'm, I'm glad that we signed him for the two years that we did. We, we're going to we're gonna do great. Uh, Trevor Bauer, he's up to a 93. He pitched very well. 3.12 ERA, 22-4. Solid, solid number. Shane Bieber's up to a 91. He's 21 and 5 on the year. A 332 ERA, 217 innings pitched. Perfect. Carlos Carrasco slowly starting to go down. He's going to have two more years on the deal. He might actually be a player that I, I'm looking to trade. He might be a player I look to trade. Um, Clevenger, he's got one more year of arbitration, which is awesome. 15 and 6 on the year, a 329 ERA. Perfect. Danny Salazar, I think he's got one more year on his deal. Um, he'll probably be a player that is kind of like year by year basis, but a four ERA, a little, a little high. Tui Valala didn't pitch as well as he did last year, which is disappointing, but we'll definitely see how he does for the future. Simber, 87 overall, solid ERA. Um, Andrew Miller for a year, not bad. Definitely not bad. Um, 1.28 for Hoyt. Who is this guy? This guy's an um, animal. It's unreal. Uh, Whitgren, solid setup, man. Um, I'm tempted to put Simber in that setup role and then Brad Hand's doing Brad Hand things. I think he's got one more year on his deal. Um, if he continues to go down there, we'll probably let him go, but he he looks solid. Um, let's take a look at our prospects, which I did look back at, and I've remembered they were all pitchers. So we got Hutchins, we got McKenzie. Those are the two I'm keeping an eye on for now. Um, Gifford's another one, which was one of our draft picks. He's already up to a 70, which is awesome. And his per nines, besides his K and his per nine, look amazing. Um, the other one was Oviedo. He looks decent. Um, and then the last one was uh, Herschel Porter and Novoa. These two I know for sure. I'm starting to second guess myself on the Oviedo one. But I know Porter and no Novoa were definitely picks that we had. Um, they're slowly coming up, but I doubt they'll feature in this rebuild. No, no prospects there. These two guys are looking okay. Nothing too special. Arturo's gone up in potential. So this is our new backup. We don't have to worry about re-signing Perez. We got a new backup in Arturo or even Montez. Um, first baseman, I still like Bobby Bradley as the backup. I'm really hoping Kobayashi picks it up because we only got one more year of Jeanette and I doubt I'll bring him back. Um, but otherwise, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Center fielders, Campos, Valera, those are good to see. They're going up. So far, so good with the prospects and everything. Let's get into this series against the oakland athletics and we advance finally we're taking on the yankees um i want to get my the lineup all set up i mean even letting clevenger though like pitch isn't a horrible idea you know what i mean especially since those two got rocked so let's 
Let's see what we can do here. We get a loss. We get a win. Okay. A win. A win. One more. Come on. There we go. We are taking on the Nationals in the World Series. So let's see what we can do here. Kluber, Strasburg. We take a 4 nothing loss. We win 14-2 the next game. 6-1 to this game. And we're in the elimination game with a 3-1 lead. If we win this, it is a World Series title for the Cleveland Indians. We're going to let Kluber go. He's been, ooh, 6-6 six, six ERA. He's kind of let us down. You know what? We're going to Carrasco. And if it goes badly, we have Kluber for the next game. But Kluber's been kind of iffy for me um, towards like the end of his outings. Um, and also with Kluber, I feel like the bats have always been quiet. So maybe that's like a jinx. We let Kluber go, bats go quiet. So a double to start, a walk, a fly out, a fly out. Can the pitcher do it? He does. A single does it. All right. So looking at the Nationals lineup, Merrifeld's new, Mookie Betts, Eduardo Nunez, Justin Smoke, their new player. Okay. A couple new faces there. Um, the bats, please don't go quiet on me. Come on. Let's wake up here. Jeanette. Flies out, Bowers, Winker, Winker, Plowecki, come on, can the pitcher do it again? Can't, all right, Carrasco, get us out of this, perfect, Lindor, 0 for 2, there we go, get a hit, perfect, someone, there we go, pitching change, ooh, Grace is tired already, he's down to like a fourth stamina, we get a two run double, Scooter Jeanette comes up clutch, gets us that three run lead now, Carrasco's pitching very well, I like to see that helping himself out too he's he has the winning rbi so far so lindor comes in with an rbi naquin comes in with an rbi and so far it is looking very good for us five run lead carrasco's a good amount above half stamina through seven all righty that's a single can he get us out of the sitting he does look, look i might have him go nine i might he's pitching that well a single and a strikeout so He's, he's about three-fifths stamina. He does it. He wins a World Series for the Cleveland Indians. There you go. Best record in baseball by a mile. There's no way, no way anybody won more than 110 games. Yeah. They're the first-ranked team in baseball. Contact, power, pitching. Oh, power's fourth, but pitching's first. Contact's first. Speed is 26th, and defense is 13th. But a crazy team. This team is lights out. Lindor's the playoff MVP. World Series MVP was Bradley Zimmer. He hit 600 with six RBIs during the playoffs. Lindor hit 452. That's better. I want to see that from Lindor with five home runs and 18 RBIs. So let's take a look at the team as a whole. You guys can see um, Hoskins went a little quiet, um, but overall everybody and Plowecki. So Hoskins and Plowecki went a little quiet, but besides that, solid outing from the lineup. Um, looking at the starting rotation, really just Kluber. Kluber got hit hard in his outings, but Carrasco, everybody else was sub 2-5 ERA. Gross. Unreal. Salazar didn't pitch in the playoffs. Uh, Tui Valala in an inning and two-thirds did well. Um, Miller a little high on the ERA, but everybody else, amazing. So pitching did very well. Lineup, amazing. Wins the World Series, awesome. Let's get into Season 4 see what changes we we need to make i don't even think we need to make any um but we'll see we'll definitely see starting season four 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 five what is this one two three four so starting season four um we're gonna be trading jake bowers uh he's gone down a little bit in rating um a lot of things are affecting his morale um i mean if i moved him to right field he he would be starting but you know his hitting stats Eh, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to trade him to the Padres for Jose Castillo, a, a, a decent looking reliever. Um, his stats look pretty good. And then also Fran Mil Reyes, who I know develops into a stud of a right fielder. Um, his stats last season don't show it, but the previous years do. I think he just had a down year last year. So we're going to take our chance with Fran Mil Reyes. Um, we're also trading um, Josh Stowers, who we got from the Cameron Mabin trade. Who I, which I know is not realistic. I know that wasn't the real trade that happened. And then we're also trading Elijah Morgan. You know, whatever. That's the trade we're making. Um, and that's the only trade we're going to be making. Oh, I do got to show you someone that we did sign though. Um, Archie Bradley was like, no, I don't want to come here. So instead, we got someone even better. 
by the name of Roberto Osuna. So he's our new closer. Big time deal. Um, I think it was five years, 10 million. Um, Brad Hand has been decreasing. So that was kind of something I kept my eye on. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at now. Um, kind of a cluster in the bullpen now, but we'll, we'll see how things go. I think the bullpen looks strong. I think our lineup looks strong. Uh, Fran Mil Reyes is obviously going to move up in the lineup for sure. There's no reason for him not to. He's a big, powerful bat. Like he, he's definitely going to add some pop to the lineup. Um, let's do this. Move Lindor there. And then um, that Lindor there like that. Ooh, this team looks, this team looks really good now. Good power. Oh man, we got Kobayashi up to an 81. Arturo's a 76. First season draft pick, I think, or second season draft pick. First season draft pick. We got Zimmer. Bobby Bradley's developing. Like, look at this team. This team is unreal. Um, pitching rotation looks amazing as well. Um, yeah, this. All right, so let's look at our prospects really quick. Um, McKenzie and Hutchins are definitely going to be featuring at some point, probably next season. Um, because we'll probably be a little strapped for cash um, with all these big contracts that we have. Um, Bernardo Campos probably won't, but he looks like a good prospect for the future. Um, but yeah, that's this is season four. I doubt we'll have to make any changes. If we do, I'll show you, but that was it. This team looks really, really good. I can't wait to see how they play. And uh, I'll see you guys either at deadline day if we make a trade or uh, at the end of the season. Alrighty, so at deadline day, um, Carrasco's deal has one more year and he's already decreasing. Kluber's starting to decrease as well. So I want to get this, what, $38 million off the books at the end of the year um, so that we can potentially sign one good starting pitcher, um, another ace, and then that way we can allow one of our prospects to step in to help us out. We're also getting rid of Hoyt. He's starting to decrease in rating as well. And one of our catching prospects in Montez, who actually doesn't look bad, um, but we do have Arturo and Ploiecki. We're going to bring in Steve Ciszek, who is decreasing. So he's not really an upgrade on any of our relievers. But we're going for two of the top pitching prospects in Blake Reed. He was a second season uh, draft pick. And Riley Pint, who was a... F no. Reed was the first season draft and Pint was the second season draft, I believe. Um but both of them, they look really good. They got decent stats already. So they could go into that starting rotation. We can at least get some sort of prospect involved as our fifth starter. Season four ends with us being the division winner. Once again, we're taking on the wild card. Um, the winner of the wild card. League leaders. Jose Ramirez for stolen bases. Really. Um, runs and base on balls. And then Corey Kluber and Osuna pitched very, very well. Which is awesome to see. Um, awards wise. Gold Glove for Lindor, Cy Young for Kluber again, and Osuna won the Delivery Man of the Year. So Kluber pitched lights out back-to-back -back Cy Young. So let's take a look at that because his contract runs out and he's starting to decrease. So do we just bring him back for a year? I mean, I feel like he's he's been doing very, very well. Um, I mean, he can't decrease that much. Um, you saw his stats briefly. Um Maybe Bauer is the one that makes way. And then we use Bieber, Kluber, Clevenger. And then we can move Salazar or just let him walk. Maybe let Salazar walk. And then we go Bieber, Clevenger, Kluber. And that has three. So we bring in one more uh, pitcher or we just keep Bauer. I don't I'll, I'll figure something out once the playoffs comes. But you guys can see, you know, all the ERAs, the stats there. Um, Kluber definitely was the ace of the team. Whitgren, really not a long reliever. That's kind of why I want to move someone there instead. Um, Castillo was okay. You know, a 3-4 is, I mean, for a reliever, a 3-4 is not horrible. Tuivalala is 100% on my do not trade or acquire list anymore. He never does well for me. Steve Ciszek, yikes. Um, Adam Simber is going down, but he's 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 doing well. 270 ERA, awesome. Brad Hand did amazing in his setup role. I might bring him back another season because he did very well. And Osuna was lights out. He only blew one save. 53 saves and he blew one. Looking at the lineup, Jose Ramirez is going down very, very quickly. Why is that? 
just because he had 277, I don't understand it. What? Um, Naquin is still 85, like high 80s, which is or mid 80s. That's good. You know, highest RBI number of his his career to date. Lindor. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's because of his performance. You know, a 241 average is way below Lindor's levels. Um, Hoskins hit 291, so he's he's going up. Awesome. Uh, Framil Reyes, a 300 average, so that 224 was just a was that was a, a a bad season for him. This year he came back with 32 homers, 105 RBIs. Winker hit almost 300, so he's you know 30 homers. Almost 100 RBIs there, almost a 300 average. So he he hasn't been a bad little pickup for us. Scooter Jeanette, I think this was his last year. It was. I mean, he didn't do bad. His home runs halved. RBIs were almost the same, about 10 different. You know, average was around 300. Is Kobayashi ready? Is Kobayashi ready to take over second base? It might be. He might be it might be his time. I don't know. Uh catcher Plowecki, not bad. You know, it's 260 average. He's been consistent. Bradley Zimmer, kind of the same thing. Mid two 250s, you know. Um What about our catcher Arturo? He's at 81. He looks decent. He might be our starter, you know. He's been he's been doing quite well. Um we looked at the pitching rotation. Let's look at some of our prospects. Hutchins is an 80. Reed is an 80. Plutko's an 80, but I mean, he's 30. Um, McKenzie's almost an 80. Pint is a 76. We could probably trade Pint for a prospect. Gifford's a 74. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? We had another one that was down here. Porter and Oviedo. Or Novoa. Novoa was another one that was low. Um, Bowling, the guy we signed in the first season going in the second season is a 73. Um, let's see who else. Delgado's a 68. Bernardo Campos is a 75 now. Okay. All right. Good power versus lefties. And then that's about it. So let's get into these playoffs. Um, standings wise, we were the best team in baseball, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's uh, let's see how things go. Taking on the Red Sox. And uh, we move on to take on the Yankees. All right. We got to get the pitching rotation it said salazar was pitching no <laughs> not a chance sir all right did anybody have a rough outing kluber pitched well and to think like i've been kind of bashing kluber this whole rebuild he's we just swept the yankees he actually he's he's been pitching well uh i just i feel like whenever we used him in the make or break situation he, he did let us down we're taking on the nationals again right i think we took them we played them last year right yeah, we did in the World Series. And uh, what is this game? Yeah, this is the elimination game. We've destroyed everyone in the playoffs. So it's, we're going to go with Bieber. Yeah, we haven't used we haven't used a Bieber yet. A Bieber, like there's multiple Biebers. No, yeah, of course we... You know what I mean. So we're using Bieber. We haven't used Bieber yet. Um, Nationals Lionel... Looks the same as last year. Uh, they've added Marmolejos and LeMahieu, but um, looks the same. We're even going against the same pitcher and Henderson Alvarez. We started off the second good. We just didn't take advantage of that leadoff uh, runner. Bieber, let's bunt him over. He popped it up, awesome. And then again, we had a, we had a, the leadoff man get on and nothing happened. So there we go, Lindor. That's one way to, to get a run on and uh, not strand a runner. All right, first and third, no outs. That's good. That's good. Per no, I was going to say we got out of it. It's a tie game. All right, come on, guys. Let's do something. Man on second, Jose Ramirez let me down today. One run scores. 2-1 mm, game. Naquin, Lindor, Hoskins, walks. Framil Reyes strikes out, though. All right, so, so far, we're. I mean, there we go. Jesse Winker tying the game. New pitcher, Nate Jones. All right. A double, one out. I feel like we should pinch hit. Bieber's been pitching well, but I feel like we should pinch hit. We're facing a righty. Anybody got some good, really good stats versus righties? Um, we'll go, we'll go Bradley here. Strikes out. Jose Ramirez gets his first hit. It's a two-run bomb. All right, let's uh, 
what do we got the seventh here let's go with let's go with simber and he he gets out of it perfect lindor walks hoskins first and second perfect framil reyes brings in one winker brings in another it's a four run game and i'm pretty sure that means unless something unreal happens that it's back to back world series for these Cleveland Indians. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's get Kobayashi in at bat. He lines out. All right. Walk. Fielder's choice. Fielder's choice. All right. We're going to... I'm not going to take any chances. We're going to bring in Osuna. He's going to shut the door. And the Indians are back-to-back -back World Ch World Series champions defeating the Nationals in back-to-back -back years. Um, unreal. Let's see, what, let's see what these awards are. Lindor, playoff MVP. Hoskins, World Series MVP. He hit 571. Three homers and eight RBIs. Postseason MVP back-to-back -back years for Lindor. Solid. Just consistent. That's awesome to see. Was anybody cold? It looks like everybody hit, what, 280 and above? Jeanette went a little cold, um, but everybody, and Zimmer, but overall, even Kobayashi, he had 26 at-bats in the playoffs. Okay. All right. Pitching-wise, Bieber and Clevenger, yikes. Yikes. Um, anybody in the bullpen? Castillo a little bit. But overall, bullpen looked good. Starting rotation looked good. The lineup looked good. This team is looking amazing. I was going to say looking good again, but that's too many goods in one one little section there. 2022, back-to-back -back World Series champions. We still got one more season. Can we make it a, a three-peat? We're going to have to wait and see. Let's get into free agency, see how things change. All right, for exclusive negotiations, Brad Hand, Scooter Jeanette, Danny Salazar, Steve Ciszek, and Plowecki aren't going to get contract. Brad Hand wants about 10 a year. Jeanette, I didn't look at. He wants nine. We have Kobayashi. Um, Salazar's going down. Ciszek's obviously going down. And Plowecki wants 10 mil a year. We have a guy who's 81 overall, who's just as good, and we can sign him back up for like four. Um, Clevenger, we're going to give him a deal. We've already signed these three to uh, Naquin was like 10 mil a year. Ramirez was like 24 and Kluber was 20 and we offered him a one year deal. So we're kind of going to be limited on cash. I'm definitely looking to at least make one signing. Um, let's let's see what we can do. We're going to add these players to the 40 man, obviously arbitration. We definitely got to add these guys to arbitration. They've been key to our team for Emil Reyes is a beast um jose castillo roughed up a little bit in his first year with the indians but you know what i'm, I'm gonna give him a second chance tuivalala you can leave so we're definitely in need of a um relief pitcher um looking at these contracts i mean everybody should get one and let's take a look at free agency really quick so we are in need of relief pitching there's a couple good options adubre ramos is normally okay he had a little bit of a rough season last year, 374. Um, but he's normally a pretty good pickup. Um, Taylor Rogers is normally a really good pickup. Um, Chad Green. Okay. Chad Green's an option. He definitely is an option. Alrighty, so I made a big splash for free agency. I signed Joey Gallo. Five years, 116 million. I I saw him and I thought. Yes, we have Reese Hoskins, but hey, what if we move him to right field because he can play the outfield? Because, no, we have Framil Reyes. Um, I want to move Winker to DH spot because he, he he's not a good fielder. He's not a good fielder at all. And then this way, we could put Joey Gallo in left. So that's that was my thinking. So let me, let me devise my secret, my crazy plan. Um... I even think he's starting to play center field more in real life, which I think is crazy. But uh, we'll do this. Boom. Um, Joey Gallo is going to come in and play left. And then Joey Gallo is going to come here. Look at that. Oh, man. This this lineup looks gross. Um, Joey Gallo. What is all this power? Like, it's gross. Um, with that being said, though. Rotation does have a hole right now. We brought Brad Hand back. We do need another bullpen arm, which is a bit a bit of a problem. Um, there just there was uh, Chad Green didn't want to sign the contract that I offered him, and neither did Edubre Ramos. 
um, when you look at the rest of the options available not that great um so you know we do we do have hutchins we do have who doesn't have that great of stamina so he potentially could be a long relief arm but for now um it's looking like oh clevenger did sign oh so we only need one starter oh okay 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 perfect i didn't see clevenger over there so this is how our rotation is looking to start we definitely do need a bullpen arm preferably a long reliever and then we should be okay there uh, maybe even one more bullpen. Oh, man is there a bullpen arm available i don't trust him he's been so bad for us um we might have to trade for one so that's that's really about it for off season stuff let's see if uh we can do anything else already season five our last season this is what we're looking like bieber kluber bauer clevenger and blake reed hutchins and mckenzie are going to be our long relievers we got simber Whitgren, castillo brad hand was brought back and osuna lineups wise i mean it, it's looking good joey gallows added um arturo one of our draft picks kobayashi um we brought in walters as our backup catcher for four and a half million and then one player that we signed in free agency to kind of be a uh platoon player is angelo mora um last season he actually hit the ball okay in small small limited appearances i um, looking at some of our other prospects um riley pint is a 76 and then players that we drafted like um Porter is a 66 and Novoa is a 56. So, um, oh well. Bowling 73 overall, so that's not too bad. We got this Angel Escobar, which your CPU drafted last year is a 48, um, or two seasons ago I think it was. And then looking at the rest, um, the only other ones I mentioned is Bernardo Campos, who we drafted in the first season, who is slowly getting there. Uh, he's probably like two or three seasons still before he would make the big. So, team's looking good. I definitely think we can be a three-peat team winner here. Um, I, I really do. So let's see how this season plays out. I'll catch you at the end of it. Season five ends with 112 wins and 50 losses. Again, take it on the wild card um, winner. Jesse Winker had the best batting average and Jose Ramirez had the most runs. Blake Reed had the best winning percentage. Corey Kluber had the most shutouts as well as complete games. So we definitely had some pretty top players. Jesse Winker had the silver slugger and Joey Gallo won a gold glove so let's take a look at the team jose ramirez is continuing to decrease in rating which sucks because we have him for another four years um i mean he's still like those are good numbers 280 36 home runs 115 rbis 172 hits those are solid numbers i don't understand why he's decreasing lindor's up to a seven or he's a 98 he hit close to 300 23 home runs um almost 100 rbis um power numbers aren't there but you know what those are still really good numbers reese hoskins 282 yeah 28 home runs so home runs were down a little bit rbis were down a little bit took some more walks though um similar number of hits solid year joey gallo 281 best average by far 30 home runs 100 rbis struck out still a crazy amount but i mean one of his best years frame mill reyes hit 280 34 home runs 126 rbis 148 hits solid like crazy crazy numbers um jesse winker he had 337 for average 31 home runs which is the most in his career 127 rbis 202 hits we're just like an rbi like as a team it's rbi machine tyler naquin just got a contract 16 home runs 90 rbis 300 average you know he's got one more season after this but still amazing numbers Arturo, we drafted him. He was a C potential catcher. He's up to an 83 overall at the age of 24. You know, 18 home runs, 75 RBIs, 273 average. He's looking like a decent catcher for the time being. Kobayashi's an 82. He's going to continue to increase. He had in his first like full season as a starter, 285 average, 22 home runs, 86 RBIs. Amazing. You know, we have a backup catcher who hit 365. Um, Zimmer hit 260, which is kind of average. For, you know pretty similar for him and this mora guy in 90 at bats hit 322 so i mean solid looking at our pitchers shane bieber went 18 and 7 a 3.08 era 1.13 whip solid i'll def one of our better pitchers by far Corey kluber obviously starting to age so he's going to start to decrease in rating a little bit but still 17 and 5 
he's lost five games for three straight seasons you know a 3.6 era not horrible 1.28 whip pretty average um bauer worst season in terms of era and whip but what wins and losses are still there i mean still did well blake reed in his first like full season 19 and 3 a 375 era for a, like a rookie season that's awesome i'm surprised he didn't win rookie of the year tristan mckenzie took over for clevenger who was kind of struggling um for era okay 13 and 5 though oh not a, not a bad record um lewis hutchins not really a long reliever um obviously his era not the best but hopefully he can maybe find a way to get a little bit better in that area clevenger a little bit rough in terms of wins losses and era same with brad hand 4.3 not good enough whitgren 2.11 that's solid castillo 4.45 not the best simber a three era so he kind of filled in for that uh setup role that hand was struggling with and osuna he's just lights out a to since we've acquired him he's a four blown saves in two seasons that's crazy numbers uh let's take a look at some of our pitching prospects pint is an 82 and his per nines are looking really good um jeffrey rodriguez i mean his his stats his walks per nine are killing him for sure um we have gifford his per nines are actually looking kind of good um who else uh two lower rated players so i'm not gonna really freak out about them catching wise a couple decent names coming up first base nothing second base nothing nothing oh we have a uh, delgado here who's a 72 at the age of 22 that's not bad um and then center field compost is almost an 80 he'll probably be at 80 next season same with valera so we got two younger players who could probably take over for naquin and zimmer in a couple seasons so that's about it for season five and the team we're gonna be taking on the athletics all right okay so let's see how we do here um, we're facing elimination. Great. You know, the season I was hoping we could do the the, the three peat. It's uh looking a little little sketch. So let's see what Blake Reed is all about. Let's see if we can get off to a hot start. No, a solid one, two, three inning. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two runs. Okay. Bases were loaded with no outs. So I'll take only two runs scoring. All right, a one, two, three inning for us. A double, two outs, nothing happens though. All right, looking at the athletics lineup, it looks, it looks the same. Um, I mean, a Joe Adele is a new addition, but it looks pretty standard for the athletics. Um, Joey Gallo gets a walk with one out. Come on, guys, we need we need the bats to start start going. We have we have power. We got to use it. Two outs, nothing again. Hmm. Alrighty, come on, Ramirez, start us off. Lindor, there we go. We get one run back. Joey Gallo singles. Nothing comes from that. All right, so Blake Reed's kind of low on energy. Gets us out of that inning. That's for sure his last one. Um, What do we got? Righty, righty, lefty. Let's bring in Whitgren. Perfect. All right, Arturo gets on. Ramirez strikes out. Lindor gets brings in the run with the triple can joey gallo hit a sack fly he doesn't we can't get that that leading run in all right so to the ninth inning hoskins gets on naquin man really first and second one out come on come on arturo grounds out all right let's bring in let's bring in hand really really he just went and did that are you serious Pfft, what all right well that's our season done well that sucks let's see how the team did during that series <sighs> kind of quiet eh? a couple players did well naquin and 15 at bats didn't get a hit are you serious are you kidding me what oh Kluber got rocked. Bauer got rocked. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Um, overall, though, the team is good. Obviously, some aging players that we would want to move on from. 
Uh, Jose Ramirez is looking like he's going to be a player that's going to decrease very quickly for some reason. Naquin's at, what, 31? Yeah, I mean, he's still got a couple seasons in him. Um, I mean, this is the this part's good. Pitching, you probably want to get a little bit younger with. Um, Kluber, Bauer. But, I mean, you've got the players. Clevenger's, what, 32 now? So he's... As long as he does well for another season or two, you're good. You got Hutchins, you got Reed, you got Pint, you got McKenzie, you got youth there. The bullpen needs a little help too. So I think the pitching, an area that's been strong for the last couple years, needs some improvement. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Cleveland Indians rebuild. It was two World Series back to back in this one. And I hope, I mean, it's a good team. I really liked coming up with different players that we haven't used before. So I hope, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.